eight. In the minimum rebate from five lakhs to seven lakhs is also in the new regime. Uh, do you think that the changes in the slabs in the new regime is something that will boost uh, people to switch to the new regime? Certainly, it will uh, boost because see, five lakh in the old scheme is in addition to the exemptions, <clears throat> which means that if one is having uh, deductions, investments of up to two lakh rupees and it becomes equivalent to the 7 lakh uh, rebate that one is giving in the new regime. Uh, having said that, the new regime, uh, if one looks at, you know, say the 15, a person who is having an income of 15 lakh rupees, for his taxability to be the same as in the old tax regime, he would have to invest 3.7 lakh rupees or have deductions totaling 3.75 lakh rupees to have the same taxability as in the new regime. And this investment limit, you know, changes uh, depending on uh, the income tax slab that you are in. So, for example, if, you are in, if your income is 7.25 lakh, you'll have to invest or have deductions of 1.5 lakh rupees. So, when we talk of a new regime, is there any estimate how many more people will be added and how many are currently opting for the new regime? It's difficult to hazard a guess, but I think... Uh, the way we have structured it now, there will be more in the new rather than in the old. Any estimate how many have opted as of today, the new regime? I'll, I'll not be able to give you the figures, but uh, all I can say is that the new scheme is, is the way forward. The government has uh, made it very clear that we want to move away from exemptions. And going forward, this is going to be the mainstay. Of, uh, so it's a continuation of the policy of the government. It's not something that is new. Uh, it is a continuation mm. of the earlier mm. uh, intent of uh, the government, and we are carrying forward that intent. On